Hello, y'all. It's now um 9.55 p.m. Whoa. It's still on Sunday, the 17th at this moment. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I may have just about enough to get to do another night, like tomorrow through Tuesday morning. Probably, probably. Um, so while I'm kind of freezing cold in here now, because <clears throat> I turned the air on the lowest because um, I turned the air on the lowest to try to air out the room and try to dry out the moisture and um well this room had a couple of things wrong with it <coughs> excuse me the um <coughs> the toilet wouldn't flush and um they didn't have a shower curtain in here and the room was a little it looked like it was wasn't all the way clean like they still had a little trash on the floor and stuff it wasn't completely clean but then I came <clears throat> it was a little bit after 11 o'clock that I came and I'm glad I wasn't charged extra <clears throat> for an early check-in fee so I was able to get me some rest uh, so earlier I did the video <clears throat> excuse me talking about the um the gang stalking hotel neighbor you know harassing me with the loud bass music but then you know how they do they gaslight you and hurry up and turn it all the way down or turn it down some when um the moment you try to put them on film and try to go take your phone outside and stuff and try to film them or whatever <clears throat> so um I'm still tired and sleep deprived and <coughs> they had a gang stalking vehicle or two yeah it was two of them because it was a black Nissan Sentra in front of a white Nissan Sentra and then the guy in a white Nissan Sentra was a perp with a faded red shirt and the lady said that he was standing behind me anxious to turn in the um and I, I stepped aside because I you know didn't want to hold him up and but I thought he was a perp I, I mean I figured that he was a perp trying to beat me to the line in, in, the, in the lobby like they usually do you know <clears throat> but it seemed like he was turning in some he had a faded red shirt but he was supposedly turning in some keys hotel room keys rather than trying to get a room <clears throat> so I stepped aside and let him you know turn in the keys and she said she said that he was pretty that he was appeared to be pretty anxious you know behind standing behind me or whatever <clears throat> so then um but yeah before I even got there you know and so then I heard a loud bass music. Like the moment I try to take a little look around the room and see what needed, I mean, what was messed up or what was okay or whatever. But I didn't know that the toilet was stopped up until after I had, um, you know, used the bathroom for the first time. <clears throat> and I was too doggone tired, you know. So I didn't realize that I slept from about 12 or 12.30 all the way till like after 7 o'clock and I was kind of disoriented and confused because it was still light outside <clears throat> so I thought it was 7 o'clock the next morning nope it's still Sunday <laughs> so um <clears throat> so then I um so my sleep was kind of spotty 
And usually when I get to a hotel room, the first thing I do is take a shower. I was too tired to even do that, you know. <clears throat> and I, I mean, what's that? Today is Sunday, so I think um, I forgot when last week that I checked out the hotel. So, um, probably, was it? I don't think it was Friday. I forgot what day it was, but. <clears throat> but so, um. Wait a minute, no, it wasn't Friday. I think I, I think I was able to do two nights last week. No, it was probably Thursday. I think it was Thursday. And that was the day it was pouring, raining so bad. And I was trying to, you know, <clears throat> wait around for help if anybody wanted to donate for another I mean, help me out with another night, and nobody online came through to help me out. So <clears throat> I was forced to go back downtown. It was raining so bad, <clears throat> and I showed video footage of the rain. It, the the rain actually got worse and more violent after that video, where they manipulated the thumbs up. Like I had twelve thumbs up, and they were trying to compete with. You know, every time I got a thumbs up, then another perp would get get on, and and I think that the online perps have multiple accounts, so that they can use multiple accounts to give me thumbs down on on a certain particular video. They were really trying to suppress. And that video started to um get a lot of views, so they felt threatened by that, and it's like. It's really crazy that I'm the one who's deprived and on the streets. <clears throat> and y'all have y'all comfortable houses. <clears throat> and y'all sitting there, um, you know, feeling threatened by me trying to survive. That's doggone senseless. I don't understand, you know. But they sold their souls to do this. So... So, um, yeah, I mean, so back to today, there was somebody from, um, she said she recognized me from another restaurant she used to work at, and so, um, my dinner was paid for because she told me it was 12 but it was actually $13 on a gift card for the restaurant, you know, I'm not gonna say the restaurant name because the online perps. So <clears throat> she gave me a gift card that was had thirteen dollars on it. I thought at first she said five to seven, then she checked and she said twelve, but come to find out it was thirteen dollars on the on the gift card. <clears throat> and so, you know, she gave me some extra freebies too. And even gave me a whole bunch of biscuits to take home, enough for like two or three days. So my breakfast was covered because I would just have biscuits and jelly and call it breakfast, you know. <clears throat> I would just have biscuits and jelly and call it breakfast and for the next couple of days. And so um, she also gave me some free apple juice and some extra broccoli and didn't charge me for the ice cream, you know. And this morning, um, I was given like some free French toast bites and some free bacon along with the other breakfast that I ordered. And I said, oh, I ain't eating nothing else until dinner time. And then a lady had gave me $10 um, at the restaurant this morning. And then yesterday, a lady gave me $5 at a restaurant that I was eating at. The one I was trying to tell y'all about yesterday evening, um, but I couldn't because they, I was disrupted by the um, noise campaigns. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> so I was finally able to get me some sleep, and now I'm feeling less pressure on my heart. And I heard that people, people's homeless people that's homeless on the streets or in a shelter, 
I heard that their life expectancy is shorter when they're homeless than when they're housed. And then I heard people say homelessness is more expensive than housing. Why, why the, but then again, I heard the government make more money keeping people homeless and jobless and stuff because of the, um, you know, whatever industrial, I heard there's a such thing as a homeless industrial complex that the government make a lot of money keeping people homeless in the same way that the prison industrial complex um, make a whole lot of money keeping people in prison. You know, that's why so many people get locked up in prison for a long time for petty stupid stuff and stuff they're falsely accused of. And then it, the government make a lot of money on experimenting. And then they have the medical and pharmaceutical industrial complex. They make a lot of money off of that. And all these other different industrial complexes and pipelines like they have. Instead of school to employment, I heard that the school is brainwashing you to um, condition, condition you to accept prison. And so they call it the school to prison pipeline. Y'all can look all this up too. <clears throat> you know, so, um, so, I mean, I was even as far as eighth grade, and I felt like something wasn't right, and I feel like, wow, school feels like prison hell, and then even when I was in high school, I used to say school seemed like prison hell, like you were going in hell and in prison at the same time. And then they had this boy, he used to bully, harass, and laugh at me, but one time he pretended to be fake nice one time. His name was Waylon Mentor or something like that. I went to high school with him. And he said something about school being a hell prison. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that's exactly what I was thinking. School being prison, hell, hell prison or whatever, you know. <laughs> so um, anyway, So I'm glad I feel less pressure on my heart after finally getting a nap. And it's like my my feet and legs, were, they were all swollen. Last night in the middle of the night, I felt like I was still sleep deprived. And it felt like, it felt like as if I was, um, you know, walking on fluid <clears throat> and I, I told y'all about black women from New Orleans used to tell me that the fluid would travel to my heart and kill me <clears throat> and you know you hear a lot about people saying that watch out they use blacks for medical experimentation and all that you know so it's like, so I mean, I hope to get to get me some more sleep tonight and I might just barely have enough money for another night. So I have $14 in paper dollars and from, you know, panhandling on the streets. And plus, well, part of the 14 is the, the $10 that the lady gave me this morning. So I would have had just $4 in some cash, but she, I mean, $4 in some coins. But then she gave me, a lady had gave me, and she's from New Orleans too. And she gave me $10. And, um, and wait a minute, did I have to pay for the juice? Yeah, I did have to pay for the juice earlier this morning. Yeah, but. So, I mean, in the midst of me feeling so punished, you know, last night somebody donated me $200. And of course, um, with the fundraiser, it seemed like they took out a whole, like, 15, approximately $15. And then PayPal took another couple of dollars off. So almost 20, not 20, but kind of $17 or some change total taken off. You know, so 
I was there, I guess at this hotel, um, I had enough points racked up where instead of paying the full price, I can, I guess I get some points deducted. Um, <clears throat> I would get points deducted from the, um, for the whole, from the, um, you know, the hotel price. I can, I guess, pay in some points as well as money and get like a reduced price. I, I mean, instead of, you know, if I would have had to pay another couple of nights more and then eventually got the free night, but I guess I've been doing like the reduced price. So I can probably get another night. Hmm, I might just be barely making it enough to get to have enough money for another night for tomorrow tomorrow night and and so if I can sleep good tonight you know if I can sleep well tonight and then um tomorrow morning I wake up then you know I'll have the biscuits and jelly for breakfast and the apple juice I could probably split the apple juice amount because she gave me like a big cup I can split the apple juice in the biscuits between today and tomorrow sharks if that's seven biscuits I'll just have three and a half biscuits with some jelly tomorrow and then the other three and a half the day after and the other half of the apple juice and then um probably set aside 85 cents for bus bus ride you know back downtown to be back on the street probably on Tuesday and um let's see 85 cents bus ride and you know but tomorrow I, I mean um then I probably for dinner I probably can um you know use the $13 Wait, no, $14. And I probably could just eat something similar to what I had today, you know, tonight for dinner. <clears throat> and then, you know, have a, a few a few little dollars left over a little bit, you know. So, so far, there's really no answer. No answer on... Um, there really isn't an answer yet on that job um, so far. But it's like, I was laying outside and I felt like I was gonna die. And I just wasn't feeling good. And I just felt not well rest. Well, I didn't get really, wait, last night, yeah, I only got like probably an hour of sleep. <clears throat> and so um when I went to go down to get dinner there was a perp who I know doesn't stay here and he had like a white I mean I'm sorry a red truck a red small pickup truck pickup truck and then I filmed him for a few seconds and then I went right next door to go eat at the restaurant and I didn't realize that was the same truck and I didn't get to film him on the way going and my hands were full. And so he waited for me at, he, so he went to beat me to the restaurant and sat there all that time. And then I went and did my business and ate and everything. And then I walked out and then he, he turns on the ignition and drives off soon as I walk out of the restaurant and then go right back to the hotel. I mean, the restaurant is like, bam, smack right, right next door. The restaurant is basically, um, the restaurant is like in the front or in the middle of a whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch, but you know, a few hotels. <clears throat> so, um, and it's like, yeah, I'm definitely being doggone traffic. And then, like from earlier, they were fit, perps were filming me, and I didn't. I think my hands were full at that time too, and I didn't get to um. 
I didn't get, I was trying to just have a good walk, a peaceful walk, but the purse won't let you do that. You know, they freaking filming and trafficking you and doing all this stuff. And then when you try to fight for it to be treated like normal, oh, you're the one who's entitled and wants special treatment and stuff. So they really think you're less than, and then for you to try to fight to be treated equally, they want to call you entitled and say you want special treatment when you're not trying to get special treatment. They don't want you to be equal with them, and they want to see themselves as superior. But I don't want to be equal with them anyway because I don't want to be equal with Satan's seed. You know, they, they're the ones who gained the world and lost their souls. And they, and they feel entitled, they think that having money makes them have a right to have, be more entitled. <clears throat> and it's just freaking sickening that you can have them feel entitled to feel entitled, but you know, you blocking me from, from all kinds of ways, you know, tr me trying to survive. So, um, yeah, in the middle of the night, they were vibrating my whole body at one point and another point they were vibrating my um vibrating my heart i mean and so then you, you know couldn't really sleep and they have noise campaigns and everything oh the moment i just said that now they're vibrating my feet bastards but anyway so guess what when I talked to the Uber driver, because I had to get an Uber up here, and um, it's because it's Sunday, otherwise I would have paid 85 cents to take the dirty buses. <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, excuse me. <sighs> uh, this forced yawning is ho holding me back. So, um, so the, when, when I, ex when I subscribe, uh, when I described to the Uber driver what Trisha did to me, she said that that was considered, you know, what Trisha did to me was human trafficking. And it, come to think of it, I guess um, Lisa Ruby, um, you know, did the same thing, you know. And human trafficking a lot of time leads you, can lead a person to be blood sacrificed. And the lady was... A, Christ, a Christian lady too, uh, and um, she was the Uber driver. She was a strong Christian lady, and um, she was telling me that um, you know, she was saying that it's that they prey on homeless and poor people who they prey on and exploit homeless and poor people who don't really have much, and then you know they try to slick talk them try to offer them a place to live they try to human traffic them and bait them in and more like sacrifice them and stuff like that and i'm like well wow because you know i heard about you know homeless people disappearing or or like you be homeless or poor and you go somebody offer you to go stay by them <clears throat> and then they exploit and set you up to be sacrificed or killed or or you know set you up to get arrested set you up to get locked up in a mental institution set you up to get raped, robbed, murdered, or set you up for anything to happen to you. So, um, I guess with these human trafficking, human trafficking attempts, like what Trisha and what Lisa Ruby did to me and what a few others have attempted to do, um, and then they want to act like they want to offer you to sell your soul or sell out. I guess the selling out thing is the freaking survival mechanism to you know to save yourself from being sacrificed you know but god must have been protecting me or you know watching over me because for me to be able to escape both both of those attempts because i started to get scared that miss lisa ruby like they these bastards they will pretend to be holy and pretend to be christian to try to bait and lure you in and pretend you, to pretend to be godly people and then you find you don't find out till you get there how dirty and abusive and narcissistic and exploitative that they are you know and then i just blocked a, someone who pretended to be christian and even had fake christian videos on youtube and stuff and it seemed like she was trying to lure me like trisha and i blocked her and you know, like i don't trust you because this is your first 
comment on my video and you say you got to get out of Florida so you could traffic me to a different city or state. And then my biological family members use it against me and throw it in my face and be like, well, oh, you move, you bounce around from state to state. You don't have no family or friends. They love to throw that in my face. But I didn't realize with the gang stalking, forcing you to bounce around from state to state or city to city, I heard that that's trafficking you too. You know, I still have a lot more to learn, you know. And I thought about doing a short story. I need to research and learn more about human trafficking. Or, you know, and I thought about doing a short story based on human trafficking. I already kind of did one, um, you know. <clears throat> but it, it, it seems like the human trafficking goes hand in hand with, um, you know, satanic ritual abuse. And I, oh, that's a good two topics to put together to research on that too. With human trafficking and SRA, satanic ritual abuse, and MK Ultra and the mind control and everything like that. Because <clears throat> Trisha was even making false promises to try to juice my head up to trying to act like she wanted to buy me a car and help me get my own place and get back on my feet and everything and everything she made everything sound too good to be true you know so i don't want the video to cut off so um i don't want to feel stupid so um i'm gonna just talk to y'all tomorrow all right